Hello everyone, back again. I've got Silent Castle here trying to play the dragon deck here. Let's see what happens. Now let's see if he'll let you go first. What a scrub. We actually uh, kind of bricked on Destiny board here. And I told him to set two of his warnings and that literally stops him from winning. Oh, you open future fusion and you painful choice. Oh my good gosh. That's disgusting. Nothing good. Sir! Oh my gosh! Don't painful choice first. Future fusion first. You're gonna get two five headed dragons within three turns. But you can't dragon's mirror until it goes off or it doesn't the first one doesn't come out. Okay, so now you have to foolish five. Now be particular with which ones you go with. Let's be smart here. Okay, go go across here. I'm just laying on the floor here, don't mind me. I just want to look through everything you have in here. I mean, you can get rid of Dread Dragon, Hunter Dragon, probably get as many of those Hunter Dragons out of there, I reckon. That one, you can get rid of Magna Drago, I reckon. And then, what else do you have? I guess that other Hunter Dragon. Yeah, sir, you're going to get two five-headed dragons out. And now you can pick any card you want off Painful Choice. But let's be smart. Like, you'd probably want to show, like, Solemn Judgment. Like, you want to protect that uh, that future fusion from going off. No, 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 don't do that, sir. That will that won't bring out the first one. You have to wait till future fusion resolves in two turns. What do you want me to do? I guess Painful Choice. That's what I'm saying. You want to protect that back row if you can. I'd go Solemn Judgment. I don't know about warning necessarily right away. You don't want emptiness necessarily. Judgment would be one that I would show. And you could show True Nate if we have it. That'd be even funnier. Actually, I wouldn't even do True Nate. Because that's going to bounce you back. I mean, you could you could skill drain. That slows him down a little bit. Um, go warning, I guess. You could go duality. That's not bad. And maybe... When you go mirror force. Doesn't matter, really. You're in such a good position. I figured he'd give you duality. Because you're not special in this turn anyway. So you might as well duality. cut your deck down you have 10 less cards than he does okay instant mind i mean i'd probably take delta flyer that's me i mean you can just go luster attack or well no never mind you already use duality so you can't synchro See if he has a 2,000. Oh, oh, yes. Fuck. In two turns, it's going to be dead, sir, even though you're going to sink her off next turn. Delta Flyer changes your... So you can make a, a level oh, 8. I hate that card. Well, you can make Delta Flyer and then make Stardust and protect your um, future fusion next turn. So he's like a flip effect guy. I wouldn't say he's flip effect, but... I would go Delta Flyer. I mean, you can double, you might as well double summon too, and then bring out Mirage. Yes, you can do that. All right, yes, and then you're going to change Luster to level 5. I mean, you could just go for the Synchro, just in case he has, like, Man Eater Bug or some bullcrap. I'd right, go Stardust here. I definitely think Stardust is the right play. Because if he gets a heavy storm or something, you can tribute it off to protect future fusion and it just comes back on the end phase. That's a pretty cool synchro thing. I'll back at it. I don't know if I have any of the animations on, but sometimes I have animation. Not that yet. Um, might as well double summon. 
That's nasty. They give you a good hand. I don't usually draw this well for the camera. And then might as well just go for the attack. I mean, theoretically, you'd attack with Stardust first. And then you should be good. Unfortunately, we don't have a tuner for the tuner fusion. Probably set one pass. Okay. Mm. Here he comes. And now you can Dragon's Mirror banish five for the second one. And you have protection now. Doesn't really matter where you put it. Let me see. I'm trying to see if you have enough for a game if you mind control it. So, a thousand. Yeah, you have enough for a game if you just mind control. Don't banish anything on your board. So, that, 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 and that is fine. And this is why I play one of that. A lot of times your future fusion dies before you even bring it out. And then just mind control his face down and then attack for game. How much more does that score game? I mean, it's a possibility. Oh, actually a good card, but it needs other cards for it to be good. You're good to go. I always thought you would be good with Skull Servants. I just need to know how to use them. I mean, basically, as long as you get cards in the grave, you win. Because the more Skull Servants, the more the King of the Skull Servants gets a thousand points or whatever. Yeah, this game. That was a nasty hand. <laughs> Alright, guys, well, there you go. We just wrecked. Thanks for watching.